Well, I'm right out in the countryside, getting away from all the hustle of London town. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Walking right out in the middle of nowhere, just spoke to an older gentleman. I was having a little chat, as you do, with good people. And I said to him, you don't mind me asking, mate, how old are you? And he replied, I'm 75. I said, you look very well, young man. What's the secret of a healthy lifestyle? And the answer he gave me was spot on. He brought a smile to my face. And he said, having a young wife. What do you think of that? The point of the post, I'm gonna rant on for about 10 minutes. I wanted to do this for quite a while, but I never got round to it. I'm gonna do around about 10 minutes of like real heart to heart talk. Reality, it's gonna be brutal and I may use the odd occasional swear word. I'm gonna keep me P's and Q's to a minimum. Addiction, mental health is an epidemic. You've got stuff all across social media platforms of different people telling you different things. But people that watch my post, which is not many, you know I speak from the heart. I just speak from my experience. So here goes. If you like what I say or you disagree, comment. Send me your comments. Be brutal. Be as rude as you want. I'm an old man. I like to hear from people what they think. Addiction. Mental health. What's your take on it, Martin? What do you think and what do you know is the secret of sorting your life out? Well, it boils down to one thing at the end of the day. Just my opinion. It don't matter how many posts you see on social media, how many books you read. I'm probably cutting my own throat here. Excuse the pun. It doesn't matter how many posts you see on social media, how many books you read. Does it help? Well, to a degree, it gives you a little bit of knowledge, don't it? Yeah. Some people learn to drive a car without having driving lessons. We know it's illegal, but try and work that one out. So my answer to that would be, it's all well and good reading, looking at different people's aspects, fair comment about getting your life sorted out, getting back on track, especially if you're suffering from addiction and mental health. But it boils down to this, and this is fact and king and queen as far as I'm concerned. You sort out your own problems yourself. It's only you that's gonna do it. It really is. I've gotta be brutal about this. I've known and come across so many people on my journey of the book, people that have approached me and got in contact with me, thank you. And they keep falling over. A hurdle comes up and bang. They fall flat on their ass. It's difficult. Not many people are going to be able to correct their addiction, address their mental health, and put their life back on track solely by their self. Well, that's a load of bollocks because it can be done. 
and addiction and mental health, I'm gonna use this word which I use very rarely, so please excuse me, but it needs to be said. Addiction, mental health is a cunt. That is the word, I don't like to use that word, and I'm sorry if I offend anyone. You must understand, if you wanna change your life and your perception, the way you're living, it's no good saying I'm gonna give 100%. I'm gonna give 150%, Martin, to sort myself out. I'm really gonna get on with this and straight myself up. That is not even gonna to touch the sides. And I'll tell you the reason why. Addiction, mental health, anxiety, dramas, panic, all that kind of jazz, no confidence, is given a thousand percent. It's given a thousand percent to hold you by the bollocks and won't let you go. It's got to you by the short and curlies, mate. Every morning you wake up, you've got to take something because you can't function. Because you're so far in with it, your mental health is shot to bits. You're under a lot of medication by your doctor. I can't comment on that, I'm not a doctor. But you're under a lot of medication by your doctor. You have to just take the edge off it, maybe take a line of coke, a swig of vodka, or maybe heroin, or maybe crack. It's the only way I can function, Mark. I need this to take the edge off it, then I can address the day and get on with it. I'm very, very sorry to tell you this. I speak from the heart. That's why you will never, ever, ever sort yourself out. The addiction and mental health has got you 1,000% by the bollocks. So you've got to be willing to go to 2,000%, which means climbing the walls. It's a massive battle. Every second of the day is gonna be a battle from fucking hell. But the addiction and the mental health disease have got you so far in, you can't see a way out. There is no way out. You keep falling over, you keep making mistakes. You keep looking at people's posts on social media and taking something from them, what they're saying, whether they went to rehab, they got medical help, etc., etc., etc. Is that going to get you clean? Is it gonna dismiss your mental health issues? And is it gonna give you a brighter and better future for you and your family? Three million percent, no. Oh, you're very negative, Martin. You're putting a post up. Why would we listen to you? I'm not asking anyone to listen to me. I never have. I've never asked anyone to listen to me. All I've ever done is to relay my journey across a camera and maybe people can relate to it because it's real. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a professional counsellor, as people keep saying. But I'll tell you what I am, for what it's worth. I've got 30 fucking years of experience. And it is very, very difficult, very, very hard to understand that the only person and the only method that's gonna work is fucking staring you right in the eyes. It's called yourself. You can take bits and pieces from other people's journeys, only the ones that are well read, not the ones that read from the scripts, they're not gonna help you. Most drug counsellors and key workers, they do not know what fucking day it is. If I've upset you, so be it. You've got to fight like a gladiator. Two thousand percent, that's where you need to be at. Not hundred percent. The addiction and the mental health is already running at about a thousand percent. It's got you by the bollocks, mate. You're trying, you're posting stuff up, all different people. Different things for different people. I understand. My heart goes out to them. I'm feeling your pain because I was one of them. 
please take this advice or just my opinion on board. Is it difficult, Mark, to do it by yourself? <laughs> it's fucking breathtaking, mate. Yeah, it's breathtaking. But I can guarantee you one thing if anyone watches this post. If you get through the first six to eight weeks by yourself, by your fucking strength, what you've got left, just a little bit, if you get by the first six to eight weeks, you're in with a shot at the title. You've had a taste. But not for one minute think you've conquered it. No way. No way at all. It could be a slow process. It could be draining and cause you misery. But look at it this way. Look at the fucking misery it's caused you for the last few years of your life. Two years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, however far deep you're in. Imagine and feel the misery and carnage you've caused other people. It's all self-inflicted. That's it. There's no angles. I need an escape. I've had problems when I was younger. My marriage, my business, I feel low. Rubbish. Pull your finger out. One out of a thousand people make it to the finishing line. Be the one percent. <laughs>